Hello and welcome to Architis. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can model this roof facade in Revit. This is actually the unbuilt architecture designed by the Sol Kim architect, which work I really admire. And I have to say, this is not a sponsored video. I just like his work and I found this example as a very useful one. And I think that this modeling technique is going to show you some of the methods which you can take and implement in your projects as well. I'm going to use Revit 2024 metric template. So let's just go there and enjoy. First of all, before we start modeling, let's take a look at the geometry. So as we could see here, we have some kind of the path or the leading line. And then we have a profile and it's this one. Actually, it's, this is the profile in a green color. So I'm going to create this in Revit. To be able to do that, I will just open, let's say this south facade. And then from here, I will go to component model in place and we'll pick, I can pick roof or wall. It doesn't matter. Let's take walls. And let's say that this distance from here to here is, I don't know, four meters. And then the height from here to here to be 12 meters. So I'm going to create it with some kind of radius. And I'm going to use sweep. As I said before, there is a path line and then we have a profile. And the easiest way to deal with this is going to be a sweep tool. So for a sketch, I will use this north-south because I'm looking from the south facade. Let's make this to be four meters. And then this one to be 12 meters. And let's just take this one and make it one meter radius here. Something like this or one and a half meters. Make it better. Confirm this open 3d view and then in 3d view i'm going to create a profile so i'm going to take a line uh, let's make it by 45 degrees and let's make it to be i don't know three meters let's see how it's going to look like and do the same on the other side then take the offset and I will make the offset of 200 millimeters trim this upper part and just connect this with the lines so we have a closed profile confirm this and just click finish so you see it's it's done then I have to create those two walls here but it's quite simple actually what I'm going to do now is to copy this level. I will offset it for five meters. And I'm just going to create a new view for the level I just made. It's the L3. Let's open that view and let's just create two more walls here. The thickness of this uh, extrusion is 200 millimeters. So I'm going to use the same 200 millimeters walls. We'll just pick exterior and then from here, 45 degrees, three meters, and on the other side as well. Then I can select it and I can just, you know, move it from here to here. And then I will just move it for 200. In 3D view, I'm going to select both of them. Base constraint is level one. And then we'll take a line tool Let's just turn off annotation categories. And yeah, here it comes. You see that the principle was quite simple and I hope useful. If you have any questions about this, feel free to write in the comments and don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.